I have given Bethesda a lot of flack for how storytelling is handled in their RPG titles. However, I never really looked at the big picture and asked myself why storytelling in their games is so lackluster in comparison to others like The Witcher or even Fallout New Vegas for that matter. This inclination got me on track to start looking at the direction Bethesda goes when it comes to showcasing their games. From what I have seen, Bethesda really hones in on the open world, go anywhere and do anything aspects of their titles. Story does come up when it concerns addressing choices in their games, but when you boil everything down, it appears to me that Bethesda wants people to know that you, as a player, have free reign over the world. What you choose to do in it is on you to decide, and the overarching narrative is merely a thing to do just like every other quest. Therefore, these observations ushered in these questions. What is Bethesda's focus, and where should it lie? The former can be answered, in simple terms, with what we have discussed so far. From what we have seen in recent years, the design of their games has aimed more towards the exploration and side content, revealing that their focus is exactly that, the world in its entirety, not a single narrative. How about the second question? Where should their focus be? That is a little harder to answer, so why don't we delve further into the topic by discussing some of the trends Bethesda titles, most notably the stories, have to possibly point out issues. The first trend I took notice to was their story's urgency. I have talked about this before, but whether you are attempting to stop the oblivion crisis or go find your missing son, Bethesda's games always seem to have urgency immediately introduced to kickstart everything. This aspect completely subverts the idea that you should be able to go anywhere and do anything, as wasting time on what you want to do as a player contradicts your newfound purpose after leaving the vault or escaping Helgen. The second aspect of Bethesda titles is that, through the player's eyes, sometimes Players do not always equal the protagonists. Let me explain. One of the staples Bethesda has inserted in their titles revolves around the idea that the player character is faceless and unique. You are nothing to everyone and you are given the opportunity to shape your path and decisions on your own accord. However, many of Bethesda's stories establish the protagonists as beings in and of themselves. In Skyrim you are the Dragonborn, in Fallout 4 you are the parent of a kidnapped child. These instances go against the previous sentiment of facelessness as Bethesda has now written a story that revolves around a protagonist that you as a player just so happen to be, rather than allowing the player to influence a story that would occur regardless. Therefore, having the story require the player character and his influence to continue causes the main narrative to feel forced. The only plausible way I can imagine combining the open world go anywhere do anything mantra is to give players the option to become the protagonist in the story. If the world stops the moment the player says no, then Bethesda is not writing a proper story to fit the open world mechanics. To summarize, if Bethesda wants to go anywhere do anything selling point and the story that works with it, they need to allow the player to become the protagonist rather than writing the player character as the protagonist, if that makes any sense. The third and final thing is a fixed narrative. This issue is inexplicably tied to the fact that Bethesda writes the player character as the protagonist. While Bethesda can tout how there is so much choice in their games, when you really think about it, can a player say no to the main story and have the world continue and make sense? Can the Dragonborn say he is not going to kill Alduin? Can the lone survivor give up on finding his son? The answers to those are no. But can the courier from Paulo New Vegas ignore the politics of the Strip or the Hoover Dam conflict? Yes. And the reason behind that lies in the fact that the player character, through the courier, needs to insert himself into the story in order to be involved. Otherwise, the world, relatively speaking, would keep on turning, regardless. Writing the player as the protagonist coerces a certain story to unfold, thus any actual choice is stripped from the player because Skyrim is about the Dragonborn, not Nautilus 20,000. It is not to say that a fixed premeditated narrative is a bad thing, rather, only when it masquerades as something it is not do the real problems arise. Imagine if Bethesda stated that the story in Fallout 4 would follow, guess what, the same formula as their previous titles including Oblivion, Skyrim, and Fallout 3 and only having one ending that cannot be influenced by the player. From there, Bethesda could have refined the story to be digestible rather than the half-baked mess that Fallout 4 was, attempting to put in four endings that, more or less, had the same result. Okay, with these three trends in mind, them being the urgency, players being forced to be protagonists, and their fixed narrative format, what kind of conclusion can we draw from these issues? In my eyes, it appears to me that Bethesda is trying to make two out of one, resulting in a pair of halves. Let me explain. 
The trends in Bethesda's storytelling actually reminds me of the way The Witcher 3 is written. You have an established protagonist, Geralt, who is on an urgent mission to find his lost, for the lack of a better term, sentimental daughter, Ciri, who is being hunted down by the Wild Hunt. This story has a concrete beginning, middle, and end in which the player has no more than minor influences in determining the direction it goes. There are multitudes of differences between The Witcher and Bethesda RPGs. However, the most notable to me is that The Witcher does not try to be two things at once. It is a very narrative-driven game that relies heavily on its storytelling to bring in an audience. As for me, while I love The Witcher, after spending three quarters of my accumulated playtime on side activities and clearing the map, it makes me sick to look at an undiscovered map markers, and I can really only bring myself to fixate on the main story now. Bethesda titles are the opposite for me. I could spend days going around doing side stories and content and not get bored, but the moment I'm thrusted into the main story, I am one step closer to jumping off a building. This is what I mean by essentially saying that Bethesda tries to make their games two things in one. They write a story similar to the Witcher format, but also wants players to have the freedom to do what they want on their own time, whether it be exploring, becoming the master of all the guilds, or smithing thousands of iron daggers. Imagine if Geralt was able and did anything similar to those things. It would likely rattle, if not destroy the entire tone of the narrative. Bethesda writes theme park stories in an open world sandbox and masquerades their narratives to be sandboxes in an attempt to create a common tone throughout. As a result, Bethesda's stories end up conflicting with the worlds they are placed in, and it hurts the game as a whole. If Bethesda wants to write stories about the Dragonborn, the Hero of Kabash, the Lone Wanderer, or the Soul Survivor, I do not believe sandbox worlds are the proper medium. In all honesty, I think if Bethesda made games around the stories of the protagonists I just mentioned, where they could flesh out the intricacies and add more details and development rather than worry about creating a massive open world with hundreds, if not thousands of other possibilities to take into account, the potential of these narratives exponentially increases. However, it seems people do not buy Bethesda titles for riveting tales of adventure because, in reality, it is so engrossing to explore the worlds of Tamriel and the American Wasteland, and to pave the way for your own adventure. I guess this all leads back to the second question. Where should Bethesda's focus lie? If you ask me, I think Bethesda tries to tell meaningful stories through their titles, but they know that's not why people play. Therefore, the stories get watered down and reduced so they can fit into the open world sandbox environment without overshadowing everything else in the game. And you know what? Bethesda is honestly great at creating worlds people are able to get lost in and spend hours or days getting involved in all the trivial matters of it. If anything, in my opinion, Bethesda should focus on creating worlds and telling the individual stories of the people within them. They can leave the deep, character-driven storytelling to CD Projekt Red. Other than that, that'll be it for me today. If you have any questions, quarrels, or queries, be sure to let me know. I'm Cucumber, and remember, pass the dressing.